what is going on everybody it's the assassin and today sorry about covering the camera <laughs> today we are gonna be working on old blue again uh so i got this is gonna be like a uh miscellaneous type of kind of stunt build episode so i have my stunt seats in finally which is why i haven't made a video in like over two weeks now because set up the stunt seats couldn't get them back on time like i wanted to finally got them back so here we are got them back show them to you here in a second also got a saggy ass fix from twin stunts gonna try that out I'm really excited about that and i got new rear sets from ss moto and they look fucking sick so let's uh let's get into it okay so i want to start off with the saggy ass fix from twin stunts so it's just a simple uh fuck i can't remember what the, what it's called i think i think it's a linkage or something like that but you can see the old one let me turn up my exposure so hopefully you can see more there we go so as you can see it goes right there and i'm guessing yeah it's gonna sit sit like this and it sits a little bit higher than the stock one so what it's gonna do is gonna raise it's gonna raise the back end up just a tiny bit. Next, we have SS Moto uh, rear sets. This is for the brake side. So, sit kind of like that. I got them blue because I need some more blue on the bike. I got like a shit ton of this white cage, like kind of offsets the blue and white thing I'm going for. It's going to sit about here, roughly like that. Uh, we're, we're not going to be having this stupid fucking folding pegs anymore, which I am so happy about um here's the clutch side simple ssm ss moto and then we got the pegs which these are quality i can tell they're they're weighty they're heavy now this is what i've been the most excited for my fucking stunt seats now the guy who did them, Custom Stunt Seats, I'll put his Instagram here, somewhere. Link it in the description, of course. And he is a very customizable type of dude. And I didn't know this until I started talking to him about what I wanted, what he told me he could do, and all that kind of stuff. So, here's the rear seat. Actually, it would be better if I flip the camera back around. Here's the rear seat. As you can tell, I got my stunt name on it with the blue carbon fiber all the way around the seat, except for where you're actually going to be putting your feet in it. Cause you know, like, like he told me, this is the, this black, the black fabric is what, you know, your feet's going to be on obviously. And it's the stronger material and with the blue carbon, with the white embroidered, the assassin. Oh man. I love that too. And what makes it even better is I sent him the font that I use. For my videos you know if you're a subscriber you see what kind of font i use you see that my watermark is kind of like right here somewhere and it's the same font it's called a gang of three and i feel like it goes with the whole assassin vibe so blue black white stitching as you can tell i'm trying to stay under the light so you can see all the details of it this is the front seat same thing blue carbon on the sides where your feet won't be and white stitching with the black uh, fabric in the middle. So I don't know what this little scuff is, you know, custom sun seats. I was hoping I'd get some mint material back. No, I'm fucking with you. So yeah, white stitching on the side. He could have put the assassin right here where uh, roughly where my thumb is. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed. Roughly where my thumb is right here. He could put the assassin. Um, if you follow impact tech, you saw that there uh, FZ MT07 giveaway had embroidered impact tech on it. So it's the same guy who did those stunt seats. So he could have done that for me, but because, um, the fact that I'm gonna be sitting on the bike all the time, you'll never see it unless it's off the bike. You know, what you'll really be seeing is that. Oh man. My boy custom stunt seats did an amazing job. Damn. These look good. You get the nice, the assassin in there. Ah, fuck with it. Oh, 
we're gonna be doing the install of these and because taking these apart are pretty straightforward i'm not really gonna detail how to take this apart um the only thing i'm worried about is my brake lever and taking it off it's the only thing i'm worried about but we will set up for that right now. Turn it, take out, there is this little bolt here. Let's see if I can get the camera in it to see it. Yeah, there it is. I hope this is not fucking anything up. Uh, I gotta take this little bolt off. Now, I don't know what size it is. It looks like it's obviously bigger than, well, it is a six. Okay, works for me, buddy. Oh, there it goes. Cool, okay, that's this jank ass OEM one off. Cool. So now, so, uh, this little bearing is exposed here, and this is the same as, oh shit, where this one is. I'm guessing there's a bearing in there, and yeah, it looks like it. Uh, maybe not. Well, if there's not one in the OEM one, there is one now, and that's where your brake uh, lever bolt is gonna go. Tight boy, because that thing is tight on here. You know, I was like, let me find out where the spring goes, because it connected perfectly fine to the old one. So hold on. The spring that I was talking about, you might be able to see it. I'll bump up the exposure real quick. Oh, you can see it. It's this spring. I couldn't see this uh, little back piece over here. Yeah, where it's connected to, I couldn't see it. I couldn't find it for some reason, even though it's fucking connected to this main piece. So yeah, got that set up. You can see here that I kind of connected it up. That's because the spring is pretty strong. So I needed to be able to hold it. I'm not really gonna torque these down really until I put it back on. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, that is looking fancy as fuck. Actually, I kind of like it without the heel guard on because this is what it would look like with the heel guard. You, no, yeah, no, not happening. If it was black, maybe I would've put it back on, but I got them blue. Plus, it shows the fucking Brembo Master that I have for this bike, which is OEM. But, besides the point, yeah. That looks fucking sick, if I do say so myself. Let's get some extra light on it there. Oh yeah, that is looking supreme. Yeah, those look fucking sick. Let me put you here, put some light on it. So I sat on them just to see how they felt. They felt really nice, but I'm still gonna do the B-roll. The only thing is, um, yeah, dirt gets, dirt gets on them really quick. So Scott, you're seeing this. I tried to make these look good for you. I'm sorry, I'll do what I can. to watch their video just to refresh my mind on how it's done but you can see it in here so what they said to do is put a jack underneath the bike to take some of the pressure off of the um the swing arm so we're gonna get that set up Okay, now we can bring the bike up a little bit. Oh God, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Should just be able to pull these right out. I can't even get my 
my hand in there. Oh yeah, would you look at that? That's a little fucking scary, but you know. And this can come out, I hope. Yes, it can. The shark's kind of in the way, but whatever. What you will need to do is pry these out. I might be able to do this with my finger. Nah, I'm gonna have to get a flathead. Now this is the part that's gonna scare me. Okay. So, put this in here. I'm very scared of this. Oh, there it goes. That's that. Okay, so, got it figured out. As you can see, I have one of the bearings out. Now, the way I did this was using a 17 mil socket to fit, whoop, fit barely through this. As you can tell, it, it'll go in, but it'll still come out. Then I have a, I was looking for a one inch, but a 15, 16 is plenty big. 15, 16 socket, go over the hole, and it'll slide right in, sit perfectly in there. So, slide it around, center it, there we go centered and then you just start popping it through now there is some force you got to use behind this and you'll tell it's done because it'll pop through you might hear it yep there it goes oh fuck me holy shit okay yeah don't do that Woo! okay yeah my fucking bearing didn't explode good let's uh let's continue oh fuck now, what would be better is an actual bearing remover tool, but because I don't have that, because I don't do this kind of shit, I don't need one. So, whatever you want to do with this, fucking chunk it, do whatever, sell it, scrap it, I don't fucking care. The new Twin Stunts one, and what we're gonna do is slide these puppies through. And this, you can just use the vise to set it in, get it going. There we go, got it going. Okay, now I am getting some grease on my hands. This just did what I didn't want to do. Pick the same, 14, or not 14, uh, shit, what's it called? The same uh, 17 mil that you're using and push them in a little bit. You want to get it generally close to back to where it was. If I can actually line it up. There we go. Okay. That looks about close. I'm gonna pop one of these seals back in to make sure I got it right. Oops, just go the right way. Oh, I don't think I could have fucking eyeballed that more perfectly. You're kind of just gonna have to eyeball it. I can't really tell you how exactly how many turns to take with your bikes and stuff, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we got this shit done. Now, let's go back to the bike. Cool, okay, let me slide one of these bolts through. Oh shit, actually, hang on. Before I do that, don't forget to put your little spacers back in. Okay. Got it lined up now. Whew. Thanks, sweet baby Jesus. Well, I thought I did. Fuck, okay. I think I need just a little bit more lift on the rear end. There we go. I think that just lined it up perfectly. Yes, let's go. appreciate it you made it to the end of the video hit that subscribe button hit that like button we just did a multitude of stunt parts kind of the main one was the fucking saggy ass fix but like i said got the seats got the new pegs and got the saggy ass fix so 
Uh, eventually, I will be doing a Olin's conversion for this bike, Olin's forks and Olin's shock. I will probably take that somewhere to get done because that's going to be an extraneous amount of work. So, at least for the shock, it might be. So, with that being said, yeah. Like again, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a good night, day, evening, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. Sassin' out.